My name is Julia Witte. I'm environmental correspondent at Mother Jones Magazine, and I just finished a piece about the U.S. Navy leading the charge into the 21st century on green energy and forward thinking about climate change issues like rising sea levels and the melting Arctic. The Navy's goals are to totally radically change the way they power their vehicles, their bases, everything. So number one was to, to demonstrate the Great Green Fleet, but then by 2016 to actually deploy this carrier strike group that'll be run on 50-50 alternative fuels. So to cover the Great Green Fleet demonstration of 2012, I got to make a carrier landing aboard the USS Nimitz. And for that, I boarded a carrier onboard delivery plane, that's a COD. And all you know is two to three minutes before landing, they start waving their arms in the air. And that is the longest wait of your life. And you know that sometime in the next two to three minutes, you're gonna touch down. And you, you are stopped from 180 miles an hour to nothing in one second. So my COD, my carrier on board delivery plane, I was flying a 50-50 blend of biofuel and fuel. Every ship in that carrier group that day and all 71 aircraft aboard the USS Nimitz were all flying alternative fuels. The opposition to the US Navy's push for biofuels has mostly come from coal and oil state, Republicans and even Democrats. So it's people who have a vested interest in staying in the fossil fuel industry that have opposed it but I was impressed that they got the Great Green Fleet demonstration of 2012 happening on time, despite a lot, a lot of problems thrown at them by Congress at the last minute. They pushed this through and made it happen. So the Navy doing this energy revolution is no small matter because they will bring commercial shipping along in their wake. And if you look at what commercial shipping is, it is the sixth biggest nation of greenhouse gas emitters on Earth. And partly what we're doing is looking at the big story, that the Navy is not only looking at clean energy, but they're also looking at issues around climate change that no one else is doing. And this big packet that they're putting together, pushing forward into the 21st century, is probably the most comprehensive action that I've seen yet being taken on any front. So this was actually one of the more hopeful stories I found myself reporting. It was the ability of an enormous muscular organization, the military, you know, spearheaded by the U.S. Navy to possibly change the course of the world for something that we have really been frozen solid on up until now.